everyone last class we learn how to do sample stitching okay from this class onwards we'll be learning there are different types of seams that we use for different different garments okay so that's the reason i have asked you to cut 10 by 8 samples total 8 samples okay uh, in which two i ask you to cut with selvage and other six without selvage let's start with the first seam that is a plain seam okay take selvage pieces two selvage pieces okay and from selvage side come in by one centimeter here with the scale just mark i'm not using pencil i'm just marking one here and one here at this point okay always remember we are not supposed to use pencil for marking on fabric we need to use chalk colors but whenever you are stitching you can avoid both the things and you can use this tracing wheel okay tracing wheel is used for tracing purpose so just to avoid any stain marking any chalk marking you know in the final output you can use this tracing wheel okay once it is done can you see a traced mark line here okay on this line you will start stitching stitching you know you need to thread your machine using matching thread so this time i am going to use a matching thread in the bobbin as well as the upper thread okay so thread your machine and start stitching okay adjust your fabric okay you need to lock at this point so start machining take one two three four three to four stitches put your needle down turn your fabric continue working here and again just reach at the end okay okay here again you need to lock Put your needle down, turn your fabric, okay, and repeat the process for locking process. And gradually pull your fabric out once this is done. Both the sides you need to cut the extra threads for finishing. This is done. So your two pieces are attached with the plain seam. What we have done, we have just joined two pieces, specifically selvage to selvage. Okay, at one centimeter, we have done a stitching. Done. Let's take another two pieces. Again, mark one one centimeters on both the side. Mark here at one and one here trace it with tracing wheel one more thing for tracing purpose use something down either a fabric a layer of fabric or your book okay good sharp points okay tracing points otherwise it is very difficult now here also you will start stitching lock here continue locking so this way you have to complete three samples okay so one is done that is with selvage this two pieces without selvage and this is your third two pieces without selvage and last two pieces are left okay so when this is done keep it aside okay and start working on the next so one two three samples are ready okay this is with selvage these two are without selvage okay with selvage this is your plain seam okay it's ready for the submission okay other two this becomes your first step okay let's start with the second seam which is known as french seam generally used for female garments take 10 by 8 two pieces Stitch at one centimeter. Okay. 
cut both the pieces half. So don't cut this side, stitch side. Okay, cut it half. After cutting, open your sample. Okay, and iron your sample properly. Those who don't have iron at home can use their scale and just pass your scale randomly like this. Okay. Once this is done, okay, reverse your fabric. Turn inside out. Okay. Turn inside out. That means our fabric goes like this. Okay. After one centimeter stitching, we have cut into half. Okay. Open it, press it, and then turn inside out. Okay. Like this. This is done. Okay, and then now from this point you will come in by 0 0.5, 0 0.5 centimeter. Okay. If you want, take your trace marking. Okay. And on this line you will start stitching. So arrange your machine, lock both the side, and start stitching. extra thread and your print seam is ready. Let's take another two pieces again mark at one centimeter stitch here at one centimeter okay this we are doing a run and fill seam which is used for gents garment. Take your 10 by 8 sample Stitch at 1 cm. On both the sides, you have this marking cut one layer half. Okay, it will look like this. Open your sample. Opening is very important. Okay, open your sample. Okay, fold your bigger piece till stitch line here like this. Okay, and then take this on another side. Okay, now here on the full line. You need to start stitching. Okay, now let's start stitching. You can use iron for perfection. Iron your sample. At intervals, keep ironing your samples. Take this piece and here on the full line you need to stitch. Okay. Adjust your machine. Lock your stitch. You know how to lock. And then just gradually continue machining till the end. So far we have completed three seams. One that is plain seam using selvage pieces together second front seam cutting both the layer half third run and fill seam cutting single layer half this seam you must have seen in Jen's shirt okay let's begin with the fourth seam that is called as lap seam okay lap seam L A W P E D. -E -E okay take two pieces of 10 by 8 centimeter come in by 1 centimeter take a tracing mark okay then any one layer fold half fold at 1 centimeter okay fold you can use iron you can use your scale okay now this piece you need to 
overlap on the mark line. See when I'm saying overlap, don't overlap like this, overlap like this to get a continuous piece. Okay, overlap on the tracing mark line and here on the edge you will start stitching. This seam is called as lap seam where we are overlapping two pieces to get a continuous piece. Locking is very important whenever you are stitching your Once your samples are ready, how to stick them in the journal? This is your plain seam. Open your sample, spread this, okay, iron this, okay, and stick this on the left hand side and right hand side. I will give you the written mark. Okay, similarly, all the seams you need to open it, iron it properly, and stick on the left hand side. Same with this and this. So your four seams. 